Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the kitchen in the Brady the Country Club. My name is Ken Gilchrist. I'm going to show you how to do this week's fish special, which was a Corvinia. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to get our pans hot. This is our Corvinia here. Let that heat up a little. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper onto my fish. Not too much, as I'm going to be doing a lemon herb caper butter. You always take your fish, when you're putting it in the pan, and you place it so that the skin side is down. This would be the skin side of the fish. This is the other side. You always want this to be up on the top when you're showing it. So whenever you put it in the pan, you always put this side down first so it gets a nice crisp sear on it so your plate presentation will look its best. So as you can see, we're going to sear this fish. If you notice, the fish does not stick to the pan once it's seared. Now, if you do not have it seared, it will stick to the pan. The whole point of searing this fish is to create a, a layer over that fish, fish's flesh so it should not stick to your pan. Once you have it like that, slide that into the oven. While that's in the oven, we're going to heat up some of our brown wild rice. This is just a little water. While our rice is heating, we're going to come here. This is a very quick vegetable. This week it is shaved asparagus, which doesn't take long. A little pepper some salt. I'm going to take some julienne red pepper, dice that up, give it a little bit of color in that vegetable. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to come over here with our rice. Get our timbal. Squeeze some of our water out of that. Now we have our nice little pyramid of rice. We're going to get our vegetable. You can see that's nice and caramelized and roasted. And then I like to take these red peppers, put them up on the top. Look at that. Okay, what we have here, we just have some grilled lemon halves. We simply grill them, put a little sugar on your lemon, throw it onto a hot grill and get some grill marks on it. Our Corvina fish comes out of the oven at this point. Go take this larger piece, put it down as a base. Then I'm going to take this other piece, put it right here. Now you got your hot fish. We're going to take. Some of this garlic butter. You want to make this melt at home. Very quickly. Ta -da. A little parsley. 
And there you have it. That is our Caravina with a lemon caper butter, shaved asparagus, and wild rice medley. They just don't take a long time to make. They are relatively easy to do. And again, your guests will never know the difference. So enjoy.